Hello, in this video I go over how we can use PowerPoint and Paint to turn an image we take on our camera into a format which we can display on an OLED display using an Arduino or an ESP32. Let's get started. So the first thing to do is to take a picture of yourself or take an image from the internet or take a logo. It really works with whatever uh, image material you have. And by clicking this image, we can go into the picture format uh, toolbar here. And the first thing I like to do if I have a image of a person, I like to remove some of the background. So we go remove background and then whatever is turned pink here, uh, will ultimately turn transparent. So we can keep certain areas because sometimes it takes too much, sometimes it takes too little. But I just want to broaden out my shoulders here a little bit and tell him to maybe keep those areas here. And once I'm satisfied that this is the part of the picture I want to keep, I say keep changes. So now I have my profile here isolated from the background. And let me just make this a little bit smaller here and duplicate, so Control c Control v and I have a second picture here. And then staying in the picture format tool here, we can apply certain artifacts, and the one I like to use is this one here, which kind of paints you uh, in this patchwork fashion here. And that's a good starting point to turn your picture into a black and white uh, profile, because ultimately the OLED is only able to handle complete black or complete white. So if you're happy with that, then let's just copy this one here as well. Obviously you don't have to do copies of your pictures, but I just want to keep them here so you can kind of see the progression. Is again picture format, and then we actually can go to color, and we can turn our picture here into a pure black and white picture. Well, if this is uh, too much shadow for you, you actually can go back here and you can copy this picture here and lighten it before you turn it black and white. So let's do that. Go again, picture format, con contrast, and we just want to make this a little bit lighter. So maybe this is a good contrast here. And if I then take a copy of this picture and place this one here, I can go into my picture tool and again turn the color into pure black and white here, and now I have the picture with less black and more white. So you have to obviously play with those settings a little bit and find a picture which allows you to have the best looking picture to be displayed on your display. All right, so if you are happy with those pictures here, the next step is to actually reduce the resolution to the resolution which is native to the display you're planning to use your pictures on. So let's open Paint. And what I like to do, I like to start out with a resolution which is quite a bit higher, but has the correct aspect ratio. So I just go here to size and I click on pixels. And my OLED has a 128 by 64 uh, pixel size. But I want to make this uh, 10 times larger. So maintain the aspect ratio here means that they both update uh, together. All right, so here is then my canvas. And now I can place those pictures I have created in PowerPoint simply by copy and pasting them into this canvas here. And I can, eh, let me not make this larger just yet. Let me grab the other picture as well. So here are my two pictures. And then I can select both of them and drag them so they fill the canvas here nicely. Obviously you want to try to keep your aspect ratio somewhat similar to what it has been. In the original. And if you're happy that this is a good looking position here for, for your pictures, then we can go and resize it. So now again, I say uh, 1280 by 640, and I simply delete one zero here. And now I have my small picture up here. And this one I have to save, and I have to save it as a black and white 
bitmap. So we go to save as PNG, we want bitmap, and we don't want a 24-bit bitmap, we want a monochrome bit bitmap. So let's save this, and I can save this in my temp folder here. It warns me that my quality will be degraded, but obviously uh, this is just fine by me. So, okay, here. And now we have our file, and this file now has to be turned into a bitmap uh, matrix, which can be used uh, by the OLED. And there is actually a nice uh, online tool. So let me open up my browser and navigate to the online tool. The link will be uh, in the description. So here it is. It is actually a GitHub page. So we click on here and then we simply uh, navigate to the image we have just created. So in my case, this is under temp. And let me sort here by recently modified. And we should have a preview of our image here. And obviously you have to put the right uh, parameters in here. So again, this is the 128 by 64. We want a white background. We want those to be exported to Arduino. And all which remains to do is to say, generate code and copy the output. And with that, we can go to our favorite IDE and program the OLED. So let me do just that. So my favorite IDE is Platform IO. And you are welcome to pause this image and copy this code. You also can find the code here under this uh, address here as a tutorial for, for the Audrio OLED. But what I have to do is simply copy what was generated by the previous website into our IDE and there's a couple of things I can delete. For example, this little uh, area definition here is not really necessary, so I like to delete that. We also need to uh, change the name of this variable to match what we have here in our draw bitmap function. So let me just copy the name and replace this title here. And we also update my comment here. But with that, we are ready to flash our ESP. So you also can already see here a little bit of those, those two profiles. So let's do that. So the code obviously has to be compiled. And it takes a little while. But once we have a completion compilation, we, we, we flash the microprocessor. And then uh, hopefully we have success, which in this case we have. All right, so let me then actually show you the results. All right, so let me zoom in here and show you what I have. I'm not sure how well the camera captures that, but I think you can make out our profile pictures here. So that's what I had. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. If not, give it a thumbs down and let me know what I can do better. Until next time, goodbye.